So how do I make an original background for my presentation instead of using the themed backgrounds? You always have the option to use the themed backgrounds, but I find they don't work very well with your presentation. So I am a big believer in creating your own. Okay, so how do you get started? First, you click on your presentation and you get rid of this and this. A couple ways to get rid of it. Go to layout and hit blank, or you could literally click on each one and hit the delete button. Okay, so let's say I want to make a picture as, a, as my background. What I would do, a lot of people click background and they insert an image. If you do that, you cannot make that image transparent. Therefore, you cannot write over that image. Don't ever use background. Instead, insert an image. So let's say you go to search the web and you search for Dust Bowl. You're going to get some really cool images of Dust Bowl. Okay, so let's say I want this big storm. So I hit insert. I told you about sizing it. Put it about where you want it. Pull it at the sides. Now, that didn't reach this other side. So what am I going to do? Well, you can cut it. So I come up here. This is a cropping image. So I'm going to crop it down here. We don't need this. Now I can pull again. This time, it almost made it. At this point, you can pull it a little bit. Okay, so now I've covered my whole thing. But if I try to write on this with a text box, you're going to see, even if I make it really big, dust bowl. Okay, you can see it, but it could get lost in this smoke. So what I would do is I would click on the image, okay, and it gives you formatting options. Okay. Under adjustments, you're going to see this button called transparency. If I click this button, you can see it makes my picture lighter and lighter and lighter. So when you are presenting this picture, you can see this giant picture in the background, but you can clearly see everything that you write over top of it. So play around with transparency. Play around with pictures if you want your picture to be your background. Another thing you can do for background is to create your own using shapes. So maybe you like this shape here. And you want this to be your entire presentation right here. So that's what you want your presentation to look like. But maybe you want it to be that yellow. Let's see if we can make this bigger. Okay, so you can play around with that. You can play around with the color. And then you would insert your text box. And again, if you were, let's say, your impact on Americans, you would say impact on Americans. Maybe you could center that and enter a picture, and that could be a definite idea for a background. So let's say you actually want to play and actually make background shapes. Okay, so let's say you want to make it with triangles. So I would probably put the flat in at the top. Let's say I wanted to do it green. I would copy and paste, except this one, maybe I want yellow. I copy and paste, green, copy and paste. I think you get my point here. Let's see, does it fit? Look at that, almost perfect. Okay, so what you would do is you would click on all these, hold down the shift button, click, 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 click. Now, if you right click, which is two fingers on the pad, okay, go down to this button that says group, and you group them. This way, if I was to make a copy and paste it, it'll move as a group. So I can flip that 
put this at the bottom and so on and so forth. So, let's say you wanted an entirely different slide, but you didn't want to recreate this whole entire thing again. You would come over here, you would right click and you would hit duplicate. And once you duplicate, you can change this slide by holding down these and changing the colors to anything you want but keeping that original design. <clears throat> you can do this with a multitude of things. So let's say you didn't really like the triangles, you actually wanted little diamonds. You could do the same thing with diamonds. And if you really wanted a diamond, all you've got to do is turn it so you can actually see the diamond. I want to pull it out a little bit more. And remember, you can always make these smaller. You get to do with what you want. And like here, you maybe you don't like the gray edge, so transparent it, take it out. And you have zero edge. Let's say you like that edge a lot, but you want it defined. You want people to see it. Make it bigger. Make it darker. Okay? You can make it darker on all of these. See what that looks like. It's very bold. Very bold. Okay? Same goes for this. If you want this to stand out, you click on this and make it stand out. Um... I'm going to show you some of the ones kids have come up with that haven't been too bad. They use two tabs on the side and they put pictures on the bottom of each one of their slides. Uh, the one criticism I'd have of this slide is that this is an 18 font and I think it's way too small. This font at 28 was much better, 24 is better. Okay, I like this one um, because what they did is they came up with their slide background, they came up with their white and they put uh, verbiage in here, in this case New Deal, and then when they went to the next slide they just changed the color. So they have the exact same thing and I want you to notice because I'm noticing this down here, the uh, initials and the initials here, um, that was for Riley. So Riley knew she was teaching this slide and this slide and this just kind of helped give the group members an indicator as to who was doing what. This group did much the same. They chose a gray background, they put in their text boxes, and gave them color, and then when they went to the next slide, all they did was change the color. So it gave it um, a little bit of a difference, but it looks really good. This one you could say is kind of boring. They just gave it a red background and a white box in the middle, and they put all of their information inside. Um, but sometimes simple is, is good. You could see they did the initials on the slide as well. This one took two boxes. So they did a green box and a purple box. And in this, they always put the information. And in this slide, in this part over here, they always put a picture. It looks to me that they stretched this picture. So that would be a negative on that slide. This slide was stolen from me. Um, if you can remember back to the 1920s, I used this background. And what they did is the exact same thing. They um, are going to show you Eleanor's bio, and then they're going to go down and they're going to unhighlight Franklin's. This is pretty actually easy to do. Uh, it looks complicated, but all of this is, is a box that I formatted to make transparent. And once you do that, you can copy and paste it. Um, so let's say I'm doing Franklin next. I would put this here and this here and cut there so then you know I was on Franklin Roosevelt next, um, Franklin Roosevelt's life. So if the next slide I was doing life at the White House, I would cover Franklin. And so it would look like you're moving down, down, down. Also, I see the initials over here as well. And they put in a little bit of a song and video while they were talking. Um, you could see how they highlighted and underlined for their study guide. I do like that a lot. Um, they used a picture background, um, and now look, I, I don't like the colors. I do like the background they chose, but the red doesn't look good up on the screen, so make sure you stay away from red. 
they were looking for something, I probably would have gone with yellow. Let's see how yellow works. I think yellow stands out better and it's easier on the eyes. Orange, not bad, but yellow would have stood out better to me. And they could have easily matched these with the uh, yellow. And I think that stands out so much better. Again, you could play around with the color and whatnot. Uh, they did a multitude of diamonds. Diamond, 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 diamond. And, um, and they kept this throughout their whole entire slideshow. They chose to put a picture at the top so that their information is on the bottom and their pictures were down here. Um, they chose to do just a different color boxes with two tabs on the side. Again, they went with the initial as to who was teaching. Um, and they did the picture background as well where they did um, transparent picture. So um, I really like all of these ideas and I am anxious to see what kind of ideas you come up with. Good luck.